Hi, good evening. Mauricio, Marilyn. Hi. Hey, how are you? How you doing, guys? We cannot talk and I speak right now. You're sick. I'm sorry that you are going through this. The good thing is that you are here and uh, you're still alive. Of course, right? Let me just do something here real quick. It is ready as well. All right, Katia, Stephanie, Mauricio, how are you, Mauricio? How's everything today? Uh, hi, Coach. Um, today was my day off, but yes. uh, I had to do a lot of things. Uh, um, some uh, I have to to go to the uh, alcaldia. I don't know who do you say alcaldia, but uh, city hall. City hall. Yes. Yeah, and how do you say partida de nacimiento? Birth certificate. Birth certificate. Birth. Ah, birth. Certificate. Okay. okay. Yes, I went to the uh, city, 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 city hall uh, to get um, a birth certificate, uh, Mexicanos in San Salvador. So after that, I had to to go to the the DHL to send the that documents to the United States and. I didn't take my breakfast, and I, I cause I I saw just you you just use that around one or two hours, but now I spend uh all all morning, and doing that process, so I I took my my lunch and my breakfast at the same time until two 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 p.m. Well, uh, my my mom prepared. Um, soup with with buns and and and, and beans. <clears throat> yeah, that's really late. That's really Jesus, man. It's really late. Um, and yeah, yeah, but 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 I mentioned that my mom prepared soup with buns and beans. Yes. And and I I, I really enjoy it because I'm I'm very hungry. I was very hungry, and and I I I ate around. Two no four tortillas and and with cheese uh, yes, uh, yes 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 after that I tried to rest uh, in my house a uh, little hours and 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 go to went to the went to the customer because I'm I'm a barber at the same uh, uh in my free time no, and really? yes no. yes yes uh, it was my my my, my primera chamba. Oh, no, right. no, 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 just kidding. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. but in my free time, I'm I'm a barber, and so I went to the to the customer, and only that, uh, about my day, and called with my with my my girlfriend in the United States, and only that. All right, that's that's good. That's good. You had a very busy Monday, huh? Yes, yeah, so and tomorrow I, one, huh? I will not okay. I will not rest tomorrow. Tomorrow, no, not tomorrow. No, no, because because uh, I have a friend, and my friend asked me about, uh, hey man, would, would you like to give me your um your 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 day off, and I'm going to give you the Monday, uh, 
the next week because I need to to do something tomorrow. Uh, oh, okay, perfect. Because uh, for me, it's a it's a it's a, a great deal because I'm going to give the 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 tomorrow and I'm going to rest until Monday. But um, I like it. All right, that that's that's something good. That's something really good. No, sorry, sorry. I know I'm going to rest on Sunday. Uh, yes, Sunday yes. means Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, right? Next week. Yes, next week. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, so it's a great deal for me. And uh, and the party of uh, for my company is on Saturday. So uh, it, it's well for me because I'm going to rest the next day after after the party. After the party, yes, exactly. You, yes, you can you can stay up late, party, and everything. You can go to go to your house at one a.m. Right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that would okay. be awesome. Right? Only yeah. that. All right, like I said, you had a very very busy Monday. Yes, that's good. That's good. I at at least you're you're doing things. You're not bored in your house. You keep yourself busy doing things. That's fine. That's fine. Awesome. Awesome thing, yes. All right, let me see. We got more people. Uh, Carla, thank you for joining. Magdiel, Emerson, and Mario. You guys just joined us. Thank you for being here today. Stephanie, are you there? How are you, Stephanie? Hi, good evening. I'm good. Evening. good. How, how was your Monday? The best day of the week? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> yes. Um... Good. It was good. It was a nice day. A uh, calm day. All right. All right. That's good to know. That's good to know. Yes. It, it was... I, well, I did not work today, people. Because I had a, an appointment at the hospital. And I went to the hospital in the morning at 6.30 6 a.m. And uh, I got bad news. The doctor was not coming until 1 p.m. So I had to come back to my house. And I went back to the hospital at 1 p.m. And uh, I didn't go to work. That was the, the only good part about my day. The rest of it was boring. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Stephanie, thank you for joining. Katia, are you there? Are you back? We don't know. I think sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I think. <laughs> I think I'm back. <laughs> Thanks. All right, all right. Thanks for asking. Yeah. That's good. That's no. good to know. How was, yeah, how was you. your day? How was your Monday? Well, I think it was fine because uh, I have some presentations about my projects and uh, with other areas of the company. And so I think I'm happy because it was my first uh, meeting that I was leading. So uh, I think everything was okay. <laughs> everything, everything was fine. Uh, I understand. I understand. Yes. That. Yes. yes. And and what happened to you like like uh last week I, we did not like hear anything from you. Yes, I know. <laughs> I mean, I was... you, you were in the you you were in the session. You joined the session, but you you do not did not speak at all. Yes, but I was listening. <laughs> I was listening. Yes, I know. Yes, uh, but but well, because mm, I was a. Uh... I am not a nurse, obviously, but in my family, I oh, yeah, me, I have right? the role. Yes. So when someone is falling or is sick, I I'm the person that would take care about her. I understand that. I understand. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The most there's younger. Always, there's always a person in the family that 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 uh, that works. But uh, how can I say this? What's the word? Uh, like place as a nurse, <laughs> something like yeah. that. Yes. The younger person. <laughs> exactly right. The, that. But that's, that's good. You're responsible with your family. That's fine. You you help them out. You support them. That's good. That's yeah. Really good. Yeah. Actually, I am. Um, eh, es pidiendo a, bueno, Yes, but online delivery. <laughs> I don't know if the same. So, what, a shopping, for mean? example. I was uh, shopping some uh, medicaments. No. Medicine. Uh -huh. <laughs> Medicine. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Online. 
Online, yeah, obviously. Okay, I understand that. Yes, you yes. can do that. That's, that's, that is easy. You can find a lot of things online. You can find everything yeah. online now. <laughs> yes, really, yes. So the pharmacies are open, and that is so good. I remember the last time was very complicated, but now, not. It's mm -hmm. not. Yes. All right. Well, welcome back, Katia. We're happy to have you here again. And uh, well, we're ready, right? You're ready. Oh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Thanks. All right, all right. Awesome, awesome. Let's see, Magdala. Hi, Magdala. How are you? How's everything? Hi, teacher. Uh, pretty good. And now I'm Monday? ready. How's your Monday going? Uh, it's doing well. Everything was okay. Did you I work? Think it was a normal, normal day. Did, but, did you work? Uh, yes, yes, I did. All right, that's good. That's good. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Tedious? Boring? Normal? It I, I was don't know. Like... Normal, but it was um hard. Our working day. Yes, our working day. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, it's Monday. Sorry? It's Monday, but it's the end of the month, right? Yeah. Uh, it's when it gets it gets the tedious, more difficult. Uh, the Many companies do inventory. Many companies do a closure. So yeah. I understand about, about, about that. Yes. Luckily for this, me, this uh, weekend. Yes, sorry. Uh, this weekend, uh, it was uh, very cloudy because of the Black November. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Uh, many, many malls uh, were very, very they were uh, cloudy. Packed. Yeah. They were packed. It was full of people. Full, yeah. Did you buy anything? People. No. No. Not for a moment. Yeah, I understand. I think uh, the the places uh, uh, low your prices, but I think before before that um, put uh, uh, higher high prices and this moment, low prices. Apparently, yes. it's a it's a deal. It's but a I what? think uh, apparently it's a offer. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly, yes. But if, if you check check the the prices, uh, for example, two months ago, mm, it's not much different. Sorry. But I think it there is there is some something that could be it's a good it's a good uh, deal it's a good prices but no no it's everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess I guess you're right about that because uh, even though in many companies they do implement the low prices uh, policy for black. This, the Black Week and the Black Friday, but there are a lot of companies that they lie about this aspect, about the prices. They, uh, for example, today is $400, then on Black Friday, still $400, but they raise the price, or the previous price was 600 something like that. They they lie about, about that. Yes, and that is not really good. Yes, they should, they should apply the, the, the or implement the the Black Friday event. Yes. All right. Uh, Emerson, how are you, Emerson? Good evening. How's everything? How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Well, doing good. It was a good Monday today. It was no, a, a good Monday. A good Monday. A good Monday. You mean? I mean, they're they're the usual. The usual amount of work in the in my job, but everything pretty good. Well, it's set, but for the traffic, 
-hmm. And I think uh, that the prices from the gas are getting low for tomorrow. A lot of people, they're going to take out their cars. So there will be probably more traffic than today. Exactly. You're right. I was checking, uh, well, I checked that on, on Facebook today and I was like, wow. Luckily, I don't have my car with me right now because my car broke down on Saturday. <laughs> Sad. My car broke down on Saturday, so I haven't put any gasoline in it. And uh, the prices are going to start going down or going to go down tomorrow. So, like, I'm going to get my car tomorrow. And uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good yeah. thing. Yes. And uh, finally, right, like, gasoline was very expensive, was getting higher and higher every month. And now it's getting easy getting lower and lower. Yeah, I hope it will be good that the the item the the food, the vegetables, all the all the time all the type of food that it was imported imported through El Salvador, it should be getting lower prices too because the gas is going down by the price. Yeah. I well let's hope so. <laughs> yeah. Better see how that, that how that goes because it's it's hard now yes it's hard now and it's even harder for people that that um that don't really have a a job you know and they work uh at farms on the lands yes like cultivating uh corn and all, all those those things yes yeah they, they are struggling with that they still struggle a lot because I mean, it's it's okay for them. They 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 make money that way. That's good, but the money they are making is not enough to cover the 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 needs that they have in the family, plus electricity, water, the water service, the cable service. If they have cable service, it's 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 kind of difficult. Pretty hard for them. Yes, but hopefully, hopefully, prices will start go that to go down, and uh, that's something really good. Yes. Yeah. All right. Welcome, Raul. Thank you for joining. And Javier, Luis Javier Castillo, thank you for joining. All right. Let's begin. Uh, just a quick reminder. Today is the last day to update your activities on the platform. All right. So you have to complete or have... Section number one, two, and three completed. Those three, excuse me. So if you guys have not worked on section number three, I suggest you guys do it. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna update the the information today, later today after class. I'm going to check. Go to the platform, and I'm going to, I'm gonna update it with your, with your grades. So I need you guys to work on it. If you haven't, of course, if you have already finished, then then don't don't ignore my messages, all right? <laughs> yes, or what I'm saying. Yes. All right. Let me take attendance. Today's class. Well, I'm gonna show you later on. Let me see, Diego, Josue Benitez Leiva. No. Elizabeth Estefani Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Then we have Julissa Emilet Villalta Villalta. No. Carla Ivania Nayacheta. Katia Ivania. Sorry. Carla. <laughs> Katia Ivania. Sorry, Katia. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. <laughs> eh, present. Yes. 
Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Thank you. Mario Edgardo Serrano Ramírez. Mario Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramírez. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, say Mario, say Mario, right? No. <laughs> Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. All right, let's begin. Let me show you the presentation and then I'm going to show you the book. All right, as you can see, today is class number 20. It's Monday, November 27th. And uh, as you already know, we are going to finish this module on Monday, uh, December 4th, which is next week, right? Uh, we have not missed any session. We have been here from day one. So this means that we're not going to cover any classes that we have uh behind so uh, like i said on monday right on monday is gonna be the last day and uh, tomorrow we start the fifth or week number five yes today we're gonna be dealing with a topic a grammar topic that is not well it's it's a little complicated to understand because it has many many things to to deal with so we're gonna take a look at that topic later on well, not 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 quite uh because we cannot start with the conversation. <laughs> yes. All right. Today is the last day for unit number three, digital marketing. We know what digital marketing is. We have learned a few words about this. Uh we have dealt with the definition, with vocabulary with vocabulary, and many more things related to digital marketing. Today, I will be able to explain core elements of the interaction between social media and digital marketing. For that, we're going to start answering these two questions in part number one. How does social media marketing influence the sales of a product or service? And what is the role of a blog in media marketing? So let's start by answering the first question. How does social media marketing influence the sales of a product or service? Guys, what can you say? Let me start by asking directly. Because if, if I ask for volunteers, you guys disappear. Let me see. Let's begin uh, with the woman. Yes, Stephanie, hello. Hello. The first question, Stephanie. How, what, what can you say? Give us your opinion. How does social media marketing influence yes. the sales of a product service? Mm. Well, I see what well, I saw that when we were uh, how do you say when we were at home 
but in English for the, the pandemia. Pan the pandemic. Okay, when we were on pandemic, we um, I think most of the people install TikTok, and we were very uh influenced by influence. influence okay influence um for the things that we saw on tiktok um so i think that social media have a um a big impact of the things that we want um yes <laughs> that okay that's a good opinion give us your opinion on the second question stephanie it says there, what is the role of a blog in the media marketing? The What is the role of a blog in media marketing? Mm, well, with this question, I I, I don't know. You don't know? No. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Let's let's gather some ideas from uh from from more participants. And uh we're gonna reach a, a conclusion later. Excuse me, later on. Let's see. Emerson, what can you say about the about these two questions? Well, how does social media marketing influence the sales of a public service? Well, influence a lot because, you know, if you're as a seller, you know how much the people are, are paying for some product. You know, you can you, you can do a, a analyst an, an analysis analysis from that merchandise. I mean, for example, if I if I want to sell, uh, I don't know, bottles of water, for example, mm -hmm. I previously check my competition on, on, on social media because probably they are selling the, the these goods for very expensive price or a lower price or what kind of bottles are they selling for? So that for me as a seller, uh, it 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 works a lot. Uh, uh, oh, it works works. It is worth. It is it's worth for my for my store for my selling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any opinion about the second question or for the second question? What is the role of a blog in media marketing? Well, a blog um, nowadays, I think. Uh, well, I don't, nowadays I don't know a lot of people that are using blogs to to sell things. Yes. I mean, because blogs, if you want to sell any kind of goods from blog, you have to pay for a for a host for a hosting. You know, so I think there are people using the social networks like Facebook to show their products. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for your opinion, Emerson. It is a well welcome. Let me see. Katia, what can you say about this, Katia? The first and second question. Hi, uh, hi, teacher and everyone. Hi. I think it's very important in marketing. So as my others colleagues uh, say, for example, we use a lot of social media. <laughs> and so we spend a lot of time on the phone and everything is about the advisements, publicity, etc. And for example, the influencers, it's the same. They are, they are a brand, a personal brand. So they, they are a marketing. And so for me, when they do marketing or have promotion of some products. Everybody wants the product and the brands pay for that uh, to them. 
So we as a consumers, we mm -hmm. we can see the reference, the comment the comments, etc. So uh, for me, the marketing influence is a big to to sell a product or service in that cases. Okay, I get it. Thank you. What about the second question? The 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 question of Manuel is asking Rafael for some pointers. No, no, no. This one. Oh, <laughs> ah, okay. That's the conversation. Ah, yeah. Thank you. I I was loading <laughs> in my mind. Yeah. I, I don't know what it refers a blog, uh, a post, for example. A blog is like a web page. So, okay. Something like that, yes. Okay, it is a post of something. Yeah. Of a product. Ah, uh, okay. For me, the role is about the when you have a uh, questions about the product. Mm, we can search a blog and, and find the answer about that product and the recommendations to how to use it, how to buy, etc. Um, another thing could be a, a guy, for example, uh, you need a, a guy to to follow some speed for, for shopping or for use that product. So you can search a blog and you can find your answers about the product. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for your opinions, Katya. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well done. Let's see, Mauricio, what do you think? Well, um, <clears throat> how does social media marketing influence the sales of a product service? Well, I think that there is is a, a high influence uh, to buy or to sell product because um, uh, we every day use the phone or use uh, the the social media to to check the probably no products or no, or we don't want to say to to, to buy something. But uh, always check a, a, a advertising or something like that in the middle of the video, or something something like that. Uh, for me, is 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 high highly influ influence um, marketing, social media. So, what is the role of the of a blog in the media marketing? Um, the role is. To find or to focus uh, over a specific public or over a specific necessities that that we we need we need to 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 we, that the specific necessities that we need and the blog focuses over over that that things and finds the finds the best option for the customers or for the um. Or for the future customers, and and in media marketing, or or or, or we get, we have to talk the the post or the page about the different products, and the blog is 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 important to to have to to check the product and to to find the the best option for us. All right, all right, very good opinions. Thank you, Mauricio, for sharing them. Let's see, because, uh, yeah, one, two, three. Magdiel, what do you think, Magdiel? I think the nowadays, many people are implementing social media marketing to sell their product or, or service. <clears throat> and so they are getting excellent results because of the social media marketing. And also, this is strategic. Is use it uh, has been using by entrepreneurs and and big uh, 
Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Empresas grandes. Big enterprises. Big or enterprises. Inter or, or enterprises, because enterprise is something really, really big. Uh, enterprise, and, and I think uh, they are getting good results about uh, social media. And nowadays is 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 very important. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, about the second question, uh, I think the the role of the uh, blog in media marketing it's it's very important, but I don't see many blogs about the any product or service. It's common. It's more. It's more common. See, and the social media, like uh, Facebook, TikTok, is commonly. But blog, I I don't know exactly, but I think it's a good, a good strategic. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. We we get it. Thank you very much, Miguel. The the thing is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of uh marketing we're doing over the internet. The best way to do marketing or the best place to do marketing is over social media. It just that's the reality. Yes. If you wanna get customers, you wanna get people to buy or to get your things, products or services, you gotta do the marketing through social media. There is no other way. I mean, there are other places that you can do that, but you're not gonna get the the, the same results. With social media, you're gonna get excellent, as, as Matil was saying and other people were saying, you're gonna get excellent results. Yes. And the blog was, uh, was a thing back then. I'm not sure how many years ago it was uh, really famous. The, the blog blogging and all of that but now it's just uh old-fashioned not nobody uses it in fact let me see if uh the the the, the blog thing still exists i'm not really sure i don't know if, if, if it is still there we got a couple of those let me see i'm I'm trying to investigate uh, this one though. This is not the one. Mm -hmm. I think this is the one. No. Let me try this one. Let me show you. This one is from a shopper, apparently. It is blogger.com. Yes, you can see this one is uh well it says create your blog. And that's not this one. It's not this one. It was uh it was this one. You see the webpage, it is uh lblog.com. Apparently it's from, from here from a shop, but I'm not really sure. And as you can see, it's it's a web page that not a lot of people are going to this. It has a lot of news and everything, and uh, you can uh, do marketing through here. But it's as as I can see, it's just for news. It is for uh no news and international things, politics, sports, entertainment. I, I don't see any marketing here. Yes, so maybe maybe you can do marketing, but but uh, it's not the same. It's easy with social media. It's way, way easier. And the blog, the blog page that we used to uh, have back then was this one, right? But it says this was for creating your own blog. It's not the same anymore. It, it, it says blog, but just for you to create one. Yes, but not, it's not the same. Like I said, it is it is easier or the best way to do marketing is through this through social media, and uh, we we see it right. We see it. I saw this this interview a couple of years or a couple of well, oh, a long time ago. I watched this interview. 
of uh, Mark Zuckerberg, and they were uh, asking uh, asking him how how he made that much money through Facebook. Excuse me, I was drinking some water. He was asked that how he was making a lot of money if Facebook was for free. Because you can create your account on Facebook, you can use it, you can chat, you can watch anything there, uh, you can meet anybody, and it is for free. You don't pay, right? And these people were asking Mark Zuckerberg what, how he was making millions of dollars. It's millions, it's millions, people. And if you if they work for free, and he just answered in a very easy way, he was he said that they were doing advertising or marketing, and with that they get a lot of money. Yes, because now all companies, many companies, are doing advertising through Facebook, Instagram, and the many other uh, social media apps that we have. Yes, well, if you. I guess you you have seen this 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 TikToker from El Salvador, this old lady you know her, the dancing lady, the dancer, yes, she was selling this product on uh well she was offering this product on the TikTok, yes. For some reason she or the product went viral and uh, many many people were buying that thing, yes, yes. It was viral. It was like many, many people were buying that product. I, I, I never bought it. I never bought it to be honest. Yes, because I, I had never seen it. If I see it, I'm gonna buy it to try to see to see what what it tastes like. Yes. But I haven't had the opportunity to 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 get it. All right. Very good. Thank you guys for your opinions. We're gonna continue working on part number two. It's a conversation. Today, we are going to deal with indefinite pronouns. Yes, those are anyone, everybody, everyone, no one, and some other that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Manuel is asking Rafael for some pointers needed to become a, not an, a digital marketer. Take turns practicing the conversation. All right. Let me read it. It's not very a very long conversation. It's, it's quite short. Let me start. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer. But you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great ma online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody, everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everybody is going to like your content until, until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. There you go. That's the, the conversation. Let me see a word that you might not understand. Oh, pronunciation consistently. Um, let me see. That's the only one I think. Navigate. That's the pronunciation. Navigate. There are hundreds. Mm. Yeah, that's the only one. All right. But... Do you have any questions about the vocabulary, guys? No questions? No questions. All right. Okay, good. Let me read again. I'm going to read slowly so that you can listen to the pronunciation and then I will give you the chance to practice with one of your, your partners. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? 
anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. All right, let me see. Let me give me a minute. All right, let me see, let me get two participants to practice the conversation. Let's do it with two ladies, Katia and Stephanie. You both. Okay, teacher. And Manuel? Yes, Katia is Manuel and uh, Stephanie is Rafael. And then you switch roles, guys. Okay, okay. Well, what did I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can became, become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consens, consistently. Then I think I am a great online marketer already. Just look at the, at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody, everybody is going to love my, to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I am a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need. Manuel. All right, all right. Thank you both for your participation. Let's continue. Let me hear from Mauricio and Emerson. Mauricio, you are Manuel, and Emerson is going to be Rafael. Well, what do I need to do to become a great online marketer? marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create a publish and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm great online marketer. Already just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everyone is going to love my content. Yes, everybody's going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get information they need, Manuel. Switch roles. Switch it, switch it. Uh, what do I need to do a, to become a great online marketer? Anyone can be become an online marketer by you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody's going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to negative throw a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. 
All right, thank you for your participation right there. Let's carry on and uh, we're gonna choose, let me see, we got Carla, Marilyn, Luis Javier, are you there? Available, Mario, are you available? Don't know. Yulisa? My teacher. Yes, yes, Miguel, but I'm looking for your partner. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm looking for a person to, to help you out. Raul, what about you? It says Oyente right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh. In there, not available. I'm going to help you out. Don't worry. I'm here. You start. I am Rafael. Okay. okay. What do, what do I need uh, to do become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great, I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts on my blog. There are hundreds. Anybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need. Right? All right, uh, let me see. What do, I, what do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create a published content constantly. Then I think I'm a... Consistently, yes. Yeah. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. They, there are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yeah. Yes. Everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need manual. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. It's time to continue with part number three. Read the conversation again and complete the sentences below. Number one, can become an online marketer. Number two, is going to love my content. Number three, is going to like your content until they get to the option menu and likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need. All right, can you help me out, please? What's the first one? Guys, what is the first one? Anyone. Anyone? All right, anyone? What about number two? Everybody? Okay, everybody. Everybody, all right. We got it right there. What about number three? Everyone. Okay, we got we got it there. Everyone. Very good. Number four, the last one. No one. And the, no one. Okay, very good. This this grammar topic is called indefinite pronouns. And uh, we're going to see some of these these uh, words that are not really called indefinite pronouns, but they are related. They are related to anyone, everybody, no one, all of those. Yes, they are not indefinite pronouns, but they are related to them. All right, let's begin with that, with the part number four. It says there, how to use indefinite pronouns? 
Look at examples in the box, and then complete the exercises below. Indefinite pronouns refer to one or more unspecified, unspecified objects, people, or places. Unspecified means that we don't know. We don't know the object, we don't know the person, and we don't know the place. They are called un, undefinite because they don't indicate the exact person, excuse me, object, person, or place to which they make reference. Yes. Nobody likes to be bombarded with ads and pop-ups. Nobody likes to be bombarded with ads and pop-ups. As you can see, nobody over here is not really referring to, uh, well, to everybody in this case. Yes, but it, it, the, the thing is that the, the, the subject or the group of people is not really specific. In these cases, it's just a, some general, right? Very, very general. Yes, very good. Now, let's see. What is bombarded, guys? Sorry, teacher. What does it mean? Ad and pop up. Pop up. Yeah. Okay. It's when you are navigating or uh, on the internet, doing some research or doing something, and suddenly something appears. And you are not looking for that information. It just appears as a pop-up. Or in Spanish, una ventana, ventana emergente. Yes. Something that appears unexpected. Yes. yes. And uh, of course, emergente, it's about publicity, right? It's not a, about anything else. It's, like, it's not like an ad, because it, an ad is there on the web page. It's there. But the pop up, it, it appears. It appears. Yes. Se aparece. That's what it is. All right. Is anybody working as a community manager in your company? Is anybody working as a community manager in your company? Somebody in the company likes to read. Our monthly article. Somebody in the company likes to read our monthly article. Anyone knows about search engine optimization nowadays? And the last one, no one pays attention to dull advertising. Dull means boring or uh, something that is not really, really attractive. What's the word I'm looking for? I know the word in Spanish, but I can't remember the, the word in English. How would you say llamativo, people? I can't remember the word in English right now. Fancy. fancy. Excuse me? Fancy. Fancy? Probably. Attractive, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it has to be a word, a word in, in English. Let me look it up. Hold on, give me a second. I can't remember the word right now. Yeah, it says it says here flashy, showy, garish, garish. All right, I like flashy and snow, showy, showy, flashy. Yes, flashy sounds okay. Oh, something not flashy. That's that's what doll is. Something not flashy, right? Like boring. Very good. Take a look at this. We have nobody, anybody, somebody, anyone, and no one. We're using them in the affirmatives and negatives. And also, well, not negatives, grammatically speaking. Negative in meaning. Negative in meaning, affirmatives, and questions. 
That's how we use undefinite pronouns. But over here, they are, they are not well explained. Let me try to show you the presentation or the slides where I have more details about indefinite pronouns. Because let me tell you, they, they have uh, some important things right there that are really interesting. Be sure the verb that accompanies indefinite pronouns is in singular form. Well, I'm gonna show you that right now. Let's do let's do the work on the presentation. First, I have a definition for indefinite pronouns. And let me see. Let me read them to you. Indefinite pronouns are pronouns that are used to refer to someone or something in a general way without being specific about whom or what you're referring to. Like I said, we are not specific with the person, with the object or place. The main group of indefinite pronouns is formed by various combinations of no, any, some, and every, with, then, one, and nobody, I don't know by, and body, sorry. For example, anything. We have the combination of any and the combination of thing, anything, yes, anything. Well, as you know, we can combine no with thing, we can combine any with thing, and some with thing. The same happens with every with thing and Every with one and every one with this one, right? All right. The same prefixes combined with where form indefinite adverbs. Look, they are called this one somewhere, anywhere, and nowhere. There are three of them. Let me put them in the chat. Everywhere, anywhere, and nowhere. Those are called indefinite adverbs, not indefinite pronouns. And everywhere, anywhere, or nowhere are used to mention or to talk about places. Places. Unlike something, everyone and uh, nobody and no one, they are used for people and objects. Let's continue. Oh, look. Uh, I said the same prefixes combined with where form indefinite adverbs, for example, somewhere, which I did not include that one, right? And somewhere. And it says there, excuse me, which work similarly but are technically pronounced. Yes. Let me show you the other one. Over here, we got people, places, and things. Any, every, no, some. Let me see. Uh, Stephanie, read the part with any. Okay. Um. Any, anyone, anybody, anywhere, yes. any. And. You say anything, right? Okay. Very good. We have any, anyone, and anybody for persons or people. Like I say, anywhere is for places. And for things, we use anything. Let's see. Emerson, read every. Okay. Everyone, <clears throat> everybody, everywhere, everything. All right. Yes, thank you. As you can see, uh, we have everyone and everybody for a person or people, everywhere for a place or places, and everything is for things, for objects. Yes, my deal read the, with no. My dear, can you read it? With no. Sorry, teacher. No. 
No. Okay. Yes. No, no one, nobody. Uh -huh. uh, nowhere and nothing. Hola. Okay, uh, thank you. That. Thank you for for reading, Miguel. Excellent. Okay. We got no one and nobody. Nowhere and well, no one, nobody for people. Nowhere, nowhere for places. Nothing is for things. Yes. And uh, take a look at this one. No one is the only one that goes separated. As you can see, we got no and then one. Don't put them together or don't combine them because they do not go together. I mean, physically speaking, they don't, they're not in the same, uh, like the other ones. Yes. There, there are two words. Yes. Some. Mauricio, read this one with some. Some. Someone, somebody, somewhere, and something. All right. We got someone. Somebody is for people or are for people. Some were for places and things. We use something. Let's take a look at some examples right now. Take a look at undefinite pronouns. Every indicates all of something or some group. Yes, that's every. Everyone or everybody, right? One and body refer to people. Tell everyone I said hi. Everybody else is here already. Yes. Let's continue with every. Thing refers to things, objects. Everything, all the objects, I mean all the objects or all the things. Everything looks brighter after a good night's sleep. Where? Occasional or occasionally place refers to places. Well, every place, right? Every place. Everywhere or every, every place. Humans can be found just about everywhere on earth. Yes. Any indicates a wide or infinite range of possibilities. Take a look at this one. This is for any, anyone, anybody, Anything and anywhere for 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 uh words for indefinite words again indicates a wide or an infinite range of possibilities. It's also used in negative statements to mean the opposite, and also for questions. Who's knocking at the door? It could be anybody. I don't think anyone is interested. You can do anything you set your mind to. Hey, Eminem. You could do it. It's for you. you can do anything you set your mind to. Yes, that's the one. I've never visited anywhere like that. Some normally indicates one person or ten. I'm sure somebody will help us out. Someone told me you like to to play chess. I get bored if you if you sorry if I don't have something to do. I want to find uh, somewhere nice to go on vacation this summer. The last one no indicates absence. Nobody nobody wants to go to the party to the party anymore. No one knows what the future made whole. There is nothing better than a good meal. And the last one, my keys were, were nowhere to be found. Let's take a look at more examples right here. Look at this. Or let's begin with the explanation. We use a singular verb after an indefinite pronoun. This applies for auxiliaries and uh, also in simple present, we have to use the verb with the S. Everybody, somebody, anybody, all of those words, they go with a singular verb, singular verb. Yes, as you can see. 
Everybody loves Sally. Everything was ready for the party. Was is a singular verb. Is the past form of the verb is. So we're using it in a singular form, in the singular form, right? Yes. When they refer back, it means when we mention the people again, when we refer back to an indefinite pronoun, we normally use a plural pronoun. Everybody enjoyed the concert. They stood up and clapped. I will tell you somebody that dinner, I will tell somebody that dinner is ready. They have been waiting a long time. So when you're using the, the, the indefinite pronoun, when we want to change it back or refer back to this indefinite pronoun, we use a plural pronoun. In this case, is they, they, all right? Do you have any questions, people? No question? No. Oops. Take a look at this. Indefinite pronouns with some and any. Some and any are used to describe in depth to describe indefinite and incomplete quantities in the same way that some and any are alone are used alone indefinite pronouns are placed in the same location as a noun would go in the sentence let's see take, let's take a look i would like to go look at this i would like to go to paris this summer if, well, that's specific, right? Or you are defining, they are called indefinite, remember? Indefinite. You are defining over here the place you want to go to. But if you don't know the place or you don't want to mention the place or you want a place to be mentioned, you can use the indefinite pronoun. In this case, we're using an adverb, an indefinite adverb, which is somewhere. So I would like to go to Paris this summer. I would like to go somewhere this summer. If I haven't decided where to go to, I can say I would like to go somewhere this summer. How do you say somewhere in Spanish, guys? How do you say somewhere in Spanish? Algo lugar. Yes, yes. We don't know the place yet. Maybe we have some places in mind, but you just uh, express that you want to go somewhere. Yes. Next, Jim, Jim gave me this book. Yes, someone gave me this book. If you want to hide or not mention the person specifically, you can use someone or somebody. It is the same. If you ask me what, what the difference is, it is the same. Somebody, someone and somebody is the same. They are the same. So you can say someone gave me this book. Someone brought me coffee. Yes. Just think about this. If you're if you're if you have a, a, a husband or a wife, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, and your ex gives you something you tell your husband or your your wife hey somebody gave me something somebody right we don't say the person's name we say someone or somebody somebody gave me flowers today who oh, your ex <laughs> right people no oh, no don't do that it's bad wait someone gave me this book 
I won't tell your secret to Sam. Sam is the specific person. Definitely. Yes. I won't I won't tell you your secret to anyone. To anybody or to anyone. You can use both. Yes. I bought my school supplies at the mall. My school supplies. It, it says or it implies the, here that this person bought all the supplies that the person needs. And uh, with the indefinite pronoun would go like that. I bought everything at the mall. What is everything? The school supplies, the school supplies, right? Yes. Do you have any questions about this one? No, we're good. Okay, we're good then. Excellent. That is a change in the the. Well, let's see. Let's let's practice. Let's see. Okay, Emerson. Yes, teacher. You're going to change the the noun, and you're going to replace it with an indefinite pronoun. Get it? Okay. Okay, very good, very good. I will buy a gift. I will buy, I will buy a gift. Okay, in that case, it could be... I will I I bought a gift. Sorry? I bought a gift. No, no. You're going to replace the object and instead of the object you're going to oh. use an indefinite pronoun. I will buy something. There you go, there you go. Excellent. Excellent. I will buy something, yes. Let me see. Stephanie? I gave you flowers. Mosquitoes. Um. I gave you flowers. You have you have two options there. You can you can either change the person or you can change the object. But always in past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The example is I I gave you flowers. Like someone gave me flowers. Okay, someone gave me flowers. Perfect, perfect. Or or you can say you excuse me, you gave oops, gave me something. So you can you can either oh. change you can either change the person or you can change the object or okay. you can change both. Somebody gave me something. Okay. Someone gave me something. All right, excellent. Let's carry on. Uh, affirmative examples here. In the affirmative sentences, indefinite pronouns using some are used to describe and indefinite quantity, the indefinite pronouns with every are used to describe a complete quantity 
and the pronoun with no R used to describe an absence. Indefinite pronouns with no R often used in affirmative sentences with a negative meaning, but these are nevertheless not negative sentences because they are lacking the word not. What we're saying here is that uh, the words no one, nothing, and nobody are negative words. They are negative words. Nobody loves me, loves Mauricio. Nothing is perfect. Well, nothing in Mauricio is perfect, right? <laughs> no one likes Mauricio. Look at this. Uh, what we have here is uh, three sentences that are in the affirmative form. They are not negative. Grammatically speaking, they are affirmative. But what you are uh, expressing is negative. Well, it says here, you can see it here. Uh, indefinite pronouns with no, well, also nowhere, nowhere, are often used in affirmative sentences with a negative meaning. But these are nevertheless not negative sentences because they are lacking the word not. So they are affirmative sentences with a negative meaning. Examples. Everyone is sleeping in my bed. Someone is sleeping in my bed. No one is sleeping in my bed. I gave everything to Sally. He saw something in the garden. There's nothing to eat. I looked everywhere for my keys, and the kid is looking for somewhere to live. And the last one, there's nowhere as beautiful as Paris. Let's continue dealing with more examples. Any and the indefinite pronouns formed with it can also be used in affirmative sentences with a meaning that is close to every, whichever person, whichever place, or whichever thing. For example, you can choose anything from the menu. What does anything mean over here, guys? Tell me. Anything. Tell me. Lo que sea. Exactly, exactly. Anything has different definitions in Spanish. It means nada, depending on the context. Cualquier cosa over here, or, or lo que sea over here in this context. You can choose anything, cualquier cosa from the menu. You can choose anything, right? You may, you may invite anybody you want to your birthday. Anybody, cualquier persona. O a quien sea. Well, it says here, whichever person, a quien sea, whichever place, el lugar que sea, whichever thing, cualquier cosa, o la cosa que sea. We can go anywhere you'd like this summer. And uh, next, we would give anything to get into Oxford. And the last one, Fido, would follow you anywhere. All right, let me tell you this. Basically, anything, anyone, any body, anywhere. Am I missing one? No, only those ones, right? There you go. We can use anything, anyone, anybody, and anywhere. Excuse me, anywhere. 
and anywhere with the three structures, affirmative, and negative, and questions, and questions, yes. And it has a different definition in every structure. Over here, you can choose anything, elegir cualquier cosa, right? I didn't, listen to this, I didn't bring anything. No traje nada. I didn't bring anything. No traje nada. Yes. Or questions. Questions. Did you bring anything? Trajiste algo? Did you bring anything? Algo, anything. Yes. So it has, uh, has three definitions. It depends on the structure. All right, let's carry on. There, there's more, more to see. Negative sentences. Negative sentences can only be formed. Listen, listen to this and look at this. Negative sentences can only be formed with the indefinite pronouns that include any. I don't have anything to eat. She didn't go anywhere last week. And I can't find anyone to come with me. So if you want to write down a negative sentence, you have to use any, anything, anywhere, or anyone for negatives. Yes. If I write, for example, It says there, I don't have something to eat. No tengo algo que comer. It sounds, it sounds very, very ungrammar. Yes, it sounds very, very ungrammar. So for me, or grammatically speaking, this is not correct. The word nothing. All right, we got nothing. I don't have nothing to eat. Well, actually, we're going to see this one later on because I have a, a slide for this one. Yes. So in this case, anything is fine. Anything fits perfectly. Yes. All right. So we, for negatives, we only use anything, anyone, anybody, and anywhere. Nothing else. Nothing else. Many negative sentences in, that include an indefinite pronoun with any can be turned into affirmative sentences with a negative meaning by using an indefinite pronoun with no. However, there is a change in meaning with this transformation. The sentence that include, includes an indefinite pronoun with no is stronger and can imply emotional content such as defensiveness, Hopelessness, anger, etc. For example, I don't I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about this. Sorry. Yes. That is neutral. And when you express or when you say I know nothing about it, like you increase your voice when you mention the word nothing, I know nothing. I know nothing about it. So you're being defensive. You're being defensive with both. Well, you're protecting yourself. Yes. You can use both. You can use both with no problems. But in, in some cases or in some scenarios, you can uh, say that nothing, I know nothing about it, be, be, means that you are being protective or you're protecting yourself or you're being defensive. Yes. So I know nothing about it is like you're defending yourself. Yes. I don't have anybody to talk to. I don't have anybody to talk to. Yes. In this moment, in this moment, it means this person is neutral over there. Yes. Maybe this person is in the house and uh, there are some people around him or around her 
but these people really, really don't uh, tolerate him or something like that, or he doesn't have the confidence or she doesn't have the confidence to talk to these people. So I don't have anybody to talk to. But if I say I have nobody to talk to, it means you have no friends, you have no family, no one to talk to. And it says they're ho hopeless. It means that nobody is around you, you are alone. See, there's a difference in meaning right there. There wasn't anything we could do, neutral. There was nothing we could do, defensive or angry. We, there was nothing we could do. Yes, there was nothing we could do. So you got to be careful about, about these aspects. Yes, they are a lot of them. Yes, 22 or 1? 32. Let's continue with negative questions or questions and negative questions. Indefinite pronouns with every sum and any can be used to form negative questions. These questions can be usually answered with a yes or a no. Pronouns formed with any and every are often, excuse me, are used to form true questions, while those with some generally imply a question to which we already know or suspect the answer. Is there anything to eat? Did you go anywhere last night? Is everyone here? Have you looked everywhere? Yes. All right. Those are some questions. We got some negative questions right here. These questions can be turned into false or rhetorical questions by making them negative. The speaker, when posing a question of this type, is expecting an answer of no. Isn't there anything to eat? No. Didn't you go anywhere last night? No. Isn't everyone here? No. Haven't you looked everywhere? No. Some and pronounce form with it is only used in questions to which we think we know we know the already in which we already know the answer, or questions which are not true questions, invitations or requests. The person asking these questions is expecting an answer of yes. Are you looking for someone? Have you lost something? Are you going somewhere? Could somebody help me please request? Could you, sorry, would you like to go somewhere this weekend? Invitation? There you go. And the part that I want you guys to take a look at, no, it's not this one. These questions can be made even more, more definite if they are made negative. In this case, the speaker is absolutely certain he will receive the, the answer yes. Aren't you looking for someone? Haven't you lost something? Aren't you going somewhere? Couldn't somebody help me, please? Wouldn't you like to go somewhere this weekend? And uh, this is the part I wanted to show to show you or talk to you about. Is the not the double negative and uh, be careful how you use indefinite pronouns in negative statements. For example, sentences using the adverb not. Using them incorrectly can create double negatives, which say the opposite of the opposite of, of what you mean them to say or other ambiguous. Sorry. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Ambiguous. Well, I have no idea. Sentences with not with not normally use a pronoun, including the prefix any or every. Look at this. Example. I can't do anything for you. It means no puedo hacer nada por ti. I can't do anything for you. Or, well, there's nothing I can do. I can't do everything for you. It may be, I may be able to do some things, but not all things. Pronouns with some or no should usually be avoided in not sentences as they make your meaning ambiguous. It's better to rephrase such confusing sentences by removing not or using a pronoun with any or every instead. Look at this, double negatives. 
I can do nothing for you that is not correct. Because we are facing a double negative. Nothing is a negative word and can't is a negative word. So this is not grammatically correct. I can do at least uh, one thing for you or it's impossible for me to not to do something unlikely to be the intended meaning. The correction is I can do nothing for you or I can do anything for you like the way we have it up here. I can't do something for you. Something no, something no. We cannot use something right here because something is for affirmatives and not for negatives. For negatives, we use any in this case. I can't do anything for you. Like it's, it's uh, how can I say this? Uh, how can I tell you this? Like what you're saying doesn't really match. I can't. Do something, like something for you that there's uh, some kind of uh, interference there. I'm not able to do one specific thing for you, but it's ambiguous whether or not I can do other things. I can do anything for you is the correct answer. So we have to be careful with double negatives. Yes. More examples of this. I can't hear anything. You cannot say, I cannot hear nothing. You have to say, I cannot hear anything, right? Yes, I don't understand. I don't understand nothing. Incorrect. The correct is, I don't, because we have don't, which is negative. I don't uh, understand anything. I don't remember nothing. Oh, I don't remember anything. Yes? Very good. Let's see. Do you have any questions? Let me see. Um, ambiguities. Got it. Ambiguities doesn't work. Ambiguities. All right. Guys, do you have any questions about indefinite pronouns? No, teacher. No questions? No, teacher. Okay. We get it. We get it. It's okay. I'm going to share this conversation with you all, cause this, this uh, presentation with you all, because it's a lot of information to take in. There are many things to deal with right there. A lot of things to look at. We're going to start by dealing with this, with, with part number five right here. I have I have more exercises uh, to show you. But right now, we're going to work on number five. It says the circle, the correct word, compare your answers with one of your partners. Uh, I'll give you, I'll give you three. Three minutes. I think that's too much. <laughs> Three minutes. Go ahead. Choose the correct one. Yes. We're correct. We're choosing the verb. The verb, all right? The verb. Choosing the verb.
Did you get it, guys? All right, let's begin. Mauricio, read number one. Yes, um, <clears throat> nobody reads, read the magazine. So is nobody reads the, the magazine. This one, right? Yes. Yes, nobody reads. Read exactly. You are right. Why am I not selecting the first one, the first letter? There you go. Okay, thank you. Stephanie, read the second one, please. Thank you, Stephanie. Anybody from the office can help. Helps you with the required documentation. Okay, required documentation. Which required. one did you say? Help or helps? Help. We know it, oh. right? Oh, I think it's helps. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. No. It's help. It's just help. Yes. The thing is that we have anybody. Yes, we have anybody. And uh, we use anybody with singular verbs. And the singular verb in this case is help. But over here we have can. Oh, okay. So every time you use a modal verb, can, could, would, will, may, might. What else? Should. The next or the verb following the, the modal verb has to go or has to go in the base form. Oh, this is okay. Help. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> number three, let me see. Magdiel, read number three. Katya, get ready for number four, Katya. Magdiel? Okay. Um, somebody. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yes. He's trying. He's trying. Uh -huh. Go on, go on. Somebody is trying to unlock the password to our web page. Okay, somebody is trying to unlock the password to our web page. Yes, somebody is. Somebody okay. is. Yes. Let's continue with number four. Number four, Katya, go for it. Okay, does anyone think this is a good project? Okay, do you word. say think or thinks? Think. With the S? First. No, without, without S. Okay, let me see. Yes, because it, it is a question we have does. With does, it's not necessary to use the, the well, you know. <laughs> the, last, <laughs> okay. the last one was, uh, let's see. Let me see. Ronald, are you there? I didn't see you joining. Joining. Uh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Number five. Uh, Did you read it? 
uh, yes, no one writes new articles for the guest post of the week. You said write? Yes, write. Okay, no one writes new articles for the guest post of the week. We got it, we got it. Thank you for your participation right there. Yes, very good, very good. Let me see if I can find this information for you guys. It's interesting information. Let's see if I find it. Okay, I didn't, I didn't find it. Let's work with another activity. This one is going to be as a group or with everybody. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Let me show you the, let me share the activity. Can you see it? Can you guys see it? Hello? Yes, we can. All right, excellent. We have uh, some examples right here and uh, some possible answers, actually four options. We're going to start with Emerson. Read the first one, Emerson, and uh, well, as a group, we're going to decide which, the, which one is the answer. Emerson, read it and give us your opinion, and then we're going to see if we agree or uh, on your answer or not. Okay. <clears throat> the number one says... I can't find my mobile phone. So they with the indefinite, indefinite pronouns. Can't hear you, Emerson. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can't find my mobile phone. Yes. Mm, can be. I mean, sorry. We had to complete the sentences using the correct indefinite pronouns. So in this case, we have to to change the the pronoun. No. I know. You gotta finish the sentence. Fix it. Okay. So oh, finish the sentence. Ah. Okay. Does anybody? Help me finding my cell phone. No, no, no. You're going to complete the sentence. Oh, I can find my mobile phone. Nowhere. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. Uh, he has chosen nowhere. All right. Nowhere means in ningún lado, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. People, do you agree with Emerson? Yes, no, never. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. All right. Well, I, I don't agree. I disagree or I don't agree. Because I told you that we have to avoid double negatives. Can't is negative and nowhere is negative. So that is not really possible. That's not really possible, grammatically speaking. Somewhere doesn't go there as well because somewhere is for affirmatives and some type of questions. And anybody is talking about a person and we're not talking about people right here. So the best choice or the answer, right? The correct answer is anywhere. I can't find my, my mobile phone anywhere. Yes. 
All right. Even though they are in a different order over here, let's continue with this one, the one that is uh number number eight. The room is empty. Now you should read it. Okay. The glass is empty. Drag okay. my or sorry. No, it's a number eight. The room is empty, but that's okay. That's okay. Go ahead with number two. No problem. Okay. Um. Uh, the glass is empty. Somewhere, drag my orange juice. Somewhere. Yes. If you take a look, the sentence, the first, because there are two sentences, the first sentence ends here. And there is a gap. You know what gap is? Gap. Espacio. There's a yes. gap there. There's one, one dot missing. This means that another sentence begins. Another sentence begins right there. How can I get rid of this badness? Although I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, somebody. There you go. Somebody. Yeah. Right, right. Somebody. Okay. Let me see. So somebody exactly. Somebody is the best. Is the best choice right here. Somebody drank my orange juice. Let's continue with number three. Number three, let me see. Katya, read number three. Okay, teacher. But I don't know, I'm watching the, the activities five. Sorry? I am watching the activity five uh, when we the indication is circle the correct word compare your answer with a partner. Yes. Uh, I think I we was in the exercise. Number three. What do you mean? I'm Are lost. You're sharing another page. Uh -huh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we can see, but just uh, for like examples, no, no, the page for the exercises, coach. Uh, all right, all right. I don't know what's going on. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. Let me know if you see it now. I was checking my phone if I was bad. You see it now? Yes. Yes. All right, sorry, I don't know what happened. Okay, thank you. So, do you know? Um, I can read the complete uh, question and after select my answer. Yeah, or... no, no okay, do you know space who has got red hair? For me, it could be. Somebody? Somebody? Are you sure? Yes. About that? No. <laughs> no. no, I'm not. No, I'm not sure. Right. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. Well, let me, again, in this case, do you know anyone sounds correct or is correct? Yes. It's very rare to see somebody in, in questions. In most cases, we use anybody, anyone, anything, and anywhere in questions and negatives. Yes? So anybody is the best choice right here. Do you know yeah. anybody who has who has got uh, red hair? Okay. Confusing, right? Confusing, right? <laughs> Let's see. Stephanie, read number four. Okay. Okay. Um, space is grown with my mo mobile because I can hear you. 
something is wrong with my mobile because I can hear you. Is it right? <laughs> something is wrong with my mobile because I can't hear you. Yes, got it, got it. Excellent. Number five. Let me see. Ronald, can you help us out? Uh, all my friends are are ill and nobody is healthy. Okay. All my friends are ill. Nobody is healthy. Yes. All right. Let's continue with the other one. And that one is number six. Let's uh, go back. Emerson, go and read number six. Okay, number six. The music is too loud. I can't hear anything. Okay, the music is too loud. I can't hear anything. You got it? Negative, can't, and anything is, is right. Uh, right. Number seven. Uh, Magdiel, read number seven. Nobody looking at us. Nobody, huh? It's Sara. Okay, we got four options. Nobody, no one. And uh, let me show you the first ones. I mean, the other ones. Anybody and somebody. Anybody, somebody. Let's go back down. So we have nobody, no one, anybody, and somebody. Nobody. Are you sure? Or no one. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay, you said no one, nobody is the same. The, the, the best option over here is somebody. Because it says there, somebody is looking at us. Alguien nos está mirando. It's Sarah. Ah, it's Sarah. Okay. It's somebody. Somebody is looking at us. Somebody is the best choice right here. Yes. All right. We're going to continue working with this tomorrow, and we're going to do more exercises. Because I, like I said, it, this topic is very complex and it deals with many, many uh, aspects, grammatically speaking, a lot of things right there. Too much. Save it. Oh, very good. Let me take attendance. Oh, let me show you or tell you who are the ones that need to work on the platform. Yes, let me see. Diego Josue has to work on the platform on uh, section number two and section number three, as well as the midterm exam. Let me see who else. Uh, Edgardo, I think I'm guessing is Mauricio Edgardo. Yes, you're, you're okay. Uh, Elizabeth, you have to work on the session number two, Elizabeth, because it is uh, at 68%, and the minimum is 80%. I have to raise it. Yes, the second part? Right. The second section, yes. Okay, thank you. Amazon is okay. Eric has to work on it. Uh, well, session two, three, and the midterm exam. Yulisa has to raise it. The section two, Yulisa, you have to raise it to 80%. It is 7%, 70%. As well as the midterm exam is 55%. The minimum is 80%. Katia, uh, sorry, Carla is fine. 
Katia, you have to work on section number three. Fabrizio is okay. Luis Javier, section number number two and three, and the midterm exam. Magdiel, section number three. Manuel, what is person now? See who else. Marilyn, you're fine. Mario Ernesto is fine. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano. Oh, that's you then. Mauricio, you have to work on section number two, three. Yes, two and three. Mauricio, no, that, that's me. <laughs> that's me. Let me see the last ones. No, Ronald, you haven't done anything, Ronald. You haven't done anything. You have to work on part number one, two, three, and the midterm exam, please. You have okay. to work on that. Because mm -hmm. remember, guys, the that well, let me just mention the importance of the platform. As you already know, there are three requirements from InSupport or from English Cooperativo. Those are the attendance. The attendance has to be at least 80% of attendance. The second uh, aspect or requirement is the platform activities. They have to be at least at uh, 80%. And the last thing that we're going to do or the last requirement is what we're gonna do on Monday, which is the survey. Yes, those are the three main requirements from ESAFOR or from Inglés Corporativo. Yes. Let me see. Diego, also edited Leiva. Oops, that's tomorrow. See, Elizabeth, Present Stephanie teacher. Vasquez, Ramirez. Yes. Present, Present. sorry. Present. All right, all right. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric was not here today. Ulisse Amilet Villalta. Carla Ivania Ancheta. Present. Thank you, Carla. Yes, Carla. Katia Maria Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Yes, Luis Mauricio was not here today. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esau Garcia Morales. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael was not here today. Raul Edgardo Muñoz. We got him. Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. Present. And the last person has never shown up. Okay, guys. If you have any questions, thank you, Raul. If you have any questions, thank you, Marilyn. Uh, you can stay. If you don't have any questions, that's okay. Don't worry about it. And uh, if you have questions right after class about the platform, you can send a, send me a message through through the what uh, WhatsApp group, or you can send me a message directly to help you out solving with the solving right with the solution of the exercises. Yes. Okay, thank you guys for joining today's session. It was a pleasure to be here with you all. And well, there's nothing else to do. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night and have a good rest. Take care, everyone. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good Take night, care. Good bye night. bye. Good night. Take care, guys. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow.